Hey, let's see if any of you can be able to do something like this. Um, yeah, I can see that um, if you spin it, it will move. So, yes, have you, are you looking at the video I'm showing right now? So the video over here, you can see what he did was he was able to spin it so fast it actually spin out onto the floor. There you go. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I did that um, and it flang, almost yeah. hitting my guitar. <laughs> yeah, you had to find a, a good spot for that. I wanna show that again. So you spin and do that. Like what he did earlier when it was there, he could pick it up with it, the side of it. If you, yeah, see you can pick it up and then you can roll it back again. So, anybody who can't figure out how to do this yet? Okay, if you spin, okay. So if you spin this, right? Okay, take a look at this. So if I roll it down using gravity to pull it downwards, it will continue going in a circle. See that? You make it go in a circle. You let it flow, okay? Don't force it, see? I'm waiting for it to fall down, see? I'm waiting for it to fall. And then, move around it. So, yeah, wait for it to fall. Thank you, I can spin it upwards. Okay, let me use this one here too. Let me change spotlight to this one. Okay, so you can see this one here. So you push it upwards. And then you spin it fast enough. The light will go on if it's not. Um, yeah. And then underneath here. It's spin off. Uh, it's not like. It comes back. Yeah. Sorry? Circular motion now. How do I do it in circular motion? Okay, you can see over here, up here, right? For this one. I use my wrist. So you actually, what you need to do is you need to wait. So it's on the highest point, gravity will pull it downwards. You see? The gravity put downwards. Then it will go like three quarter up on the other, a quarter up the other side. So when it happens, you push, give it a push, give it a push, it go up again. See, so, and repeat that again, see? On the top, it will drop down because of gravity. And then you spin it up. It's not straight. It's not straight. It's not straight. You have to make sure that the magnetic part, because it's magnetic, the magnetic part here, we need to put so like it. this. This, you see yeah. this? Yeah. It's not straight, so. Hey, okay. let's take a look here. Properly. Like this? Uh, like, see here, it's slanted. Yeah. It's slanted. Okay, if it's slanted, you need to move it so that it's straight. Well, the rings are slanted. Okay, see, oh, is the ring slanted if you move it sideways this way? If you do that, you are spinning instead of the wheel really, really spinning, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can see over there, <laughs> Kiva is also showing. What do you need? So it's actually like, what? Uh, it's like this. 
but it's actually slanted. You're gonna follow on momentum. Okay, and then this is slanted. Yeah, yeah. So what do you want it slanted or you don't want it? Like I want it not slanted, right? I want it to work. So if I and if it's too close together, you can actually adjust and push it open. It will light up if I spin it like fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I can show you here. So if you actually spin it fast enough, it will light up. Put it inside. Is it, yeah, is it meant to be inside? Because inside? No, it's meant to be outside, I think. Is it? Maybe. Yeah, it's on the outside. Okay. Then let me play the video for your dad again so that he can take a look as well. Okay. There you go. That's what he could do. Okay. I don't think it's about to, to do with slanting, but I just think it's just the speed. Okay. If you think that this uh, this front part is too close together, you can always okay. move it and adjust it because it's actually metal. Yeah. Whoa. Ow. Okay, that managed to. <laughs> this is the speed actually. Um yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my dad managed to do it. Um, <laughs> but it hit my sister's foot. Yeah, you can get him to uh, to show you later as well and work with you. It's, in the beginning, it's not very easy. I have to say that because uh, that's what happened with Colin Foot too. It took him a while to get used to it. Okay, so you can see that um, the light up drills wheel is similar to what we have, just a slightly dis different design. Uh, Eva, do you want to read? Yep. Okay, just give me a moment. Huh? <laughs> Okay. We are discussing the light up of uh, gyro. Is it gyro? Uh, gyros. Gyro wheel. With the light up gyro wheel, you can start discussions on a wide range of science topics such as potential and kinetic energy. At what points along the wheel does the wheel have the greatest amount of potential energy or kinetic anybody energy? Anybody knows? Okay, the first one, anybody knows? Potential energy means the energy before anything happens. The higher. Yes, the highest point when it's coming down soon, right? Where it's able to pull down by the gravity. Okay, next one. Motion. After the wheel is set in motion, what can you do to alter its speed? Challenge students to see who can get the wheel spinning the fastest or for the longest time without stopping. How do their variations relate to Newton's first law? Every object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change its state by the action of an external force. Okay, anybody? So how can you make the speed change? Constantine, you by want my, to try? By, by adding more force. You're adding your own force, right? To create an extra extra push. And as, that's how it says, you know, it can only be changed not if you add an action to it by an external force and your energy is external force. Conversion of energy, the law of con conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but only changed from one form into another or transferred from one object to another. Unless you continue to add energy to the circuit, the wheel will eventually slow down and come to a stop. Ask students to trace the energy, where has it gone? What is the original energy converted into? Yeah, so do you know what it becomes when you add energy to a bigger spin? What had it become? Is it like um the the train? So the energy is converted to um heat. Actually, yes. Uh, it does also because when you spin it around the the track as long as as uh in a longer in a longer time, it will create heat because of friction. The friction will create heat, and then there was a sound also because right. of the friction itself, yeah. and the movement itself as well, right? Because it went faster. Yeah. 
-hmm. And because of that, the vibration is the thing that makes the light light up. Ah, yeah, we will show you this in a while because I'm going to take it up for you to see. Magnetism, what role of the mag uh what role do the magnets play in the wheel's function? How much of the wheel's motion can be attributed to the magnets? Do the magnets affect the wheel's speed? Would the toy work equally well if it were able to travel along the wheels without magnets? So do you think that no uh, the magnets was important in this in this toy? Yes. Why? Yes. Because it helps it not to drop. That's right. It get attracted, right? So it can stay there. But what happens if I put a very, very strong magnet? It'll stay there forever and ever <laughs> and ever. Yes. And ever. That's why we need to be and we need to figure out you know roughly how strong it should be so that it can still move. And then over here, so without magnets, what will happen? There will be no, no, no gravity. Huh? There will be no, <laughs> no stability. Like stability. stability. And no stability. And also that we bought the magnets, then it will not even stay on the rails. Yep. Correct? Yeah. Gravity, what about, role does, what role does, sorry, am I, did I interrupt you? Uh, it's okay. No, no, you're fine. Okay, what role does gravity play in the wheel's motion? What happens when you tilt the toy so that the wheel is not relying on gravity to move? How do you think this toy would work in outer space in a zero gravity environment? So no. does gravity work well with this with this wheel motion? Yeah. Yeah, no. it means right just now. We're gonna move it to the top so it can start rolling down first before we actually give it extra energy, extra push. So when you tilt the toy, what do you do eventually? You are creating that gravity, right? By moving yeah. it to a position on its top so it can roll down again. So yeah. when it's outer space, well, how do you think it will, it will, will happen? It will drop and then you float everywhere. Uh, in gravity, by the time you, you are in outer space, you cannot drop them anymore, right? Yeah. Then the thing will fall yeah, out of the it, ring and then it just floats. It will just fall down of the ring and just float and then just to run around and then but have you floor. have you thought of it that in outer space, since there is a magnet that is inside the inside the machine, what will happen? Will it fall out of the ring or not? Fall out of the ring and then you Float. So how does the magnetic boots come to use in outer space? It, it works in outer space if you only put the, the, the magnet on the magnet and then the magnet stays forever. If you open it out, you, you, you open or it. So you think that magnets will not work in outer space? Yes. Would yeah. It, would it work in outer space? Yeah. It will work. Yeah. yeah. So, so if you bring this, this toy onto outer space, do you think it will drop off? No. Yeah. Yeah, that it will, wouldn't drop off. Because in the beginning, you say it will drop off, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it will not drop off because magnet doesn't need to be... No, you don't have to turn on the magnet or turn off the magnet. Okay, next, last. Optical illusions instruct students to create cardboard cutout discs that can be decorated with simple black and white designs and attached to the wheel. What happens when the wheel spins? Do certain designs work better than others to create optical illusion? How does the human eye and brain make sense of optical illusions? What does persistence of vision mean? And how does it relate to the light up gyro wheel? Okay, now I'm going to stop this one. So do you do you figure out? So if you take a piece of cardboard and then you actually stick it onto the surface here. Okay, let me put it smaller. Okay, let me change back to. Okay, so with your gyroscope here, if you're gonna draw a circle, right? That is the size of this.
you find the center and then you're going to draw patterns. You can draw things like lines like this. And then you spin it. What do you think? How do you think it will look like? It will look like an illusion. It will look like an effect. It, um, do you, can you name one thing that has similar effects to this? How about car wheels? The rim of the wheels? Also like car wheels. And in the circles, they have red, white, red, white, White, red, white, red. And the, okay, next time round, or if you have ever noticed, I want you to go to the car wheel when it's moving and take a look at it. Does it look like it's rolling forward or rolling backwards? It's rolling forward. It's backward. rolling forward. I'm, it's rolling backward. It's, go, it's actually rolling forward, but then the illusion of it, because it moves so fast, it will look like it's spinning backwards. Yeah. So yeah. observe it when you are in a safe distance. Correct. So on your own time, you can take out the circle, then place it on top here. And then make it spin. And then see how it looks like. I can show you one right now. You find the center. I'm cutting little lines on the side so I can push it through. Bye, Colin. There, see that? So if I spin this right now, oops, I need to tape it down. <laughs> okay, tape is here. Just gonna take the sides. Let's see what happens. Okay, on your naked eyes for this, because I drew so many lines, it will look like it's just blue, right? Light blue. Look at that. Because it had mixed together with the blue and white. So does it mean that if I paint it red in between, it will change color? Yes, Joyce. This reminds me of a ceiling fan. Ceiling, yes, that's right. You are right because the ceiling fan has a lot red of and blue will change into purple. You think so? Is it okay? Yeah. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to add red to this one. Someone's cutting grass outside my, my house. A bit louder. Yep. Oh, it's noisy here. Okay, there we go. So let's see if it looks purple.
It's pink. It, yeah. Like this it, magenta yeah, it looks, color. So it looks cool. like magenta. It's like. It, it looks Dang. the color blue and red looks like New York color. Oh, uh, not New York. Like, not New York. I think Norway. I used to um I used to have the ceiling fan in uh, our room in in India um with color papers go. so as it spins you yes. can see colors. Yes, indeed. My video. It tells you um uh, it's time to stop clean the fan. <laughs> uh. There you go. This is easier. So I spin it on here, so you can see it spinning better. See the color is purplish magenta color. Depends on how much red you have. So you can play with colors combination. You can actually also play with boxes. So you can do pixels like lines on the bottom, some on the top, create different patterns. Okay, now I'm going to open up. Okay, so you uh, just now Auntie Eva was like, she was like, oh, that's how it makes it light up, right, Eva? So I'm going yep. to open it up for you now. Okay. okay. I'm going to open up this. Here. It's actually a little small box. You are. See, you see, there's a little, little hole here, actually. So if you, if you are you now observant, you can see that and can use a pen knife to open it up. Okay. So I'm going to show you what's inside. So Please there's a circuit in there. Fake. Sorry? The circuit boards are fake. Yes, the circuit is fake. It's fake, but what is real is this one. See, I have two pieces of magnet here, a piece of metal for spinning, and then there is a piece here that has a spring on it. And this spring, when it touches the legs of the light on the side, the light. Yeah. Then wait. I must close it up first. Then it will start lighting up. Okay, so there's battery inside there. So what happens is the battery will power it up. Remember the legs one, the legs in the bottom there goes to the bottom of the bat uh, of the uh, bat uh, battery. Yeah, batteries, and then the other on the side. So it's an open circuit. Even when I put this in, oh, that is it. So when I touch it, it will actually light up. So I need to clip it back. So if yours doesn't doesn't light up anymore, you just need to pry it open and then push it back in. See? So if I use this to push it on, there you go. You can see that. And I'm using something to push it, to touch it. And I can even take out this piece here. And you can see that. So when you're spinning it fast enough, it will actually start touching it, vibrating and touching it. Then you can just put it back. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. Okay. Okay, can you pass me the other spinner? The wind spinner. Okay. No, the, the other wind spinner, the yellow one that you have, yeah? What? Where is it? No, your spinner, the one you blow with, is on your right, in front of the Eiffel Tower. Yes, thank you. And then you remember you have this one here? I'm let me do no, no, pardon. I'm explaining. You remember this one you have? It it's a spinner too. So if you spin it, it will work. And then what happened is that you see little pockets here. Oh, this, I can tell why. I know yep. how. This can, one. Pockets is for blow, blowing. That's right. The pockets yes. is for blowing, just like air turbine. Let's look at this. Okay. Let's look at this. Okay. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm sure the one I told you the other day. Okay, um, Constantine, I can show you another way so that it's actually easier for you. And, and it's sponsored. Okay. It's sponsored by me. 
what's sponsored by you? I told you how to do it upside down. Yeah. Okay, I have to bring weight. I have to. I'll hold it for you. I have to spot like this too. Gallery. And then here. So you can see. I will, I will for it. this one, it's actually there's a magnet in here too. Yeah. So with the magnet part of it, oh, okay, here. With the magnet part of it, you attach it underneath. So it's I, hanging. I taught mom that. Now spin it this and way. And then from there, you can blow. Oh, good. Oh, good. Wait. Wait. Okay. I'm I'm calling when I show you. Can you guys show here? So here. So they can see here? the camera is there. Just let go. Let go. Wrong <laughs> way, Colin. It's that way. It's that way. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it myself. You cannot spin it. You need to actually blow it to start. Oh I'm laughing one second. <laughs> Okay, so over here, over here, you can see. Oh, okay, nice over here, right? you can see the pockets on there. You blow nice into them. Okay. Nice feet. So if you spin it. You can blow Analyst either way. Analyst is trying to show. Analyst, we can't completely see you due to your background. Bye bye, go and do your work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, okay, you can, okay, you can blow and spin it. it. I'm just trying to do it. I'm just holding yeah. it to my face. Okay, so the same way it spins here, if you can, you can challenge yourself to spin it the other way around as well. Either way, you can actually blow into it and then try to make it go faster. Okay. So we keep this up. We move off to the butterfly. Okay, and move this away. We're going to do this today. Okay. There you go. So how it's going to work is there is actually a wheel at the back. It will spin it. And then the wings will flap. Okay. Uh, before we do this, let's look at a note as well. There you go. <laughs> Okay, hey, butterfly, butterfly wings. We've learned about a lot of butterflies, but today we're going to look at the butterfly wings. So this one, I think most of you know that you know, once the caterpillar emerges from the chrysalis, at first the wings are wet and wrinkled. The butterfly has to expand and dry them as soon as it emerges from the chrysalis. To do this, it uses its body as a pump and forces fluid through this series of tube-like veins. It's a little like inflating a balloon. As the veins fill with fluid, they slowly stretch the surface of the wings. That's why when they actually emerge, they will hang upside down. 
to try to dry their wings and then at the same time pump this liquid in there. It's, it's like their blood. Wings are most dramatic and uh, anatomical feature of a butterfly. Uh, Eva, you want to read this? Okay. Uh, made of extremely thin from here, right? Yes. Okay, made of extremely thin transparent material called chitin. Same substance that makes it uh, makes exoskeleton stretch over a series of vein like structures. The four rings are closer to the butterfly's head and are roughly triangular. The hind wings are closer to the tail and are shaped like fans or seashells. The colors and patterns come from layers of tiny scales. It's easy to think of these as similar to fish scales, but they are structured more like short, tiny hairs. These scales protect the wings and provide insulation. Typically, the scales on top of a butterfly's wings are brightly colored, while the scales and the underside are patterned for camouflage. It shed water because of the way ultra tiny structures in the butterfly's wings trap air and create a cushion between water and wing. Attach. Butterflies do not have muscles attached directly to their wings. So how butterflies fly if they do not have any joints or muscles? They move their wings by changing the shape of their bodies using the muscles attached to the top and bottom of the body. Contracting those muscles flattens the body, causing the wings to move up. Relaxing those muscles and contracting others, the body changes shape again, moving the wings downwards. You see that relaxing the hand that is squeezing top to bottom and instead squeezing the ball from side to side. So you can see this, when you press it down and contract the muscles in between, the wings will go up. Then when it relax it, it will actually go down. There you go. As the butterfly flies, its body is affected by muscles, causing the wings to move up and down. By controlling how much each set of muscles contracts, the insect can change the movement of its wings to control its flight. This method of flight is used by most insects, including bees, warps, flies, butterflies, and moths, not dragonflies and damselflies. Yeah, because dragonflies and damselflies, the connection of the wings is a lot different. So this is how it looks in motion. See, it contracts and it, it actually expands, contracts and then stretches again. So that's how it causes that movement. And I'm going to look at this. Welcome to Inside Science TV. With a flap of its wings, a butterfly is causing a flurry in the science world. I'm fascinated by nature because I know what nature has. Mechanical engineer Borat Bushon and his team look at insects under a microscope to find out what makes them work. You study how nature does it. Bushon says butterfly wings may hold the key to improving ships, airplanes, medical equipment, even oil pipelines. The thing we like about butterfly is that it's but water balance, it's not cleaning, and it also has a low drag in all kinds of fluids. A special yeah, microscope shows that the wings of a South right. American yeah. butterfly look like rolls of shingles on a home, allowing water and dirt to roll uh, off the on speaker. Oh, Mechanical engineers made a similar texture in the lab. When a drop of water goes on the butterfly wing, it rolls off very easily. The flow of air and water can slow down planes and ships. It's called drag. The lab-made texture can reduce drag by 15%. This type of surface helps air or water flow easier, something that could help ships and planes move faster and more efficiently. The goal here is just to not to copy nature, to get a cue from nature, to get inspiration from nature, and then try to do things even better than nature can do. Nature may hold the key to smoother sailing and faster flying. I'm Josh Lebowitz, reporting. So that's interesting, right? 
Okay, now what's more interesting? Let's build our stuff. Okay, so we're going to create this. You can take out all your stuff. I color code mine. So green is the box over here that we're making. And then that is my butterfly. I colored it different colors on both sides. And then my dark blue is for my connectors. The orange here is the feelers. That's the body. And then the others are connecting parts also. So we're going to start by fixing the first step. Okay, we're going to follow the booklet. So for those who get lost, you know where to find them. Okay, so we're going to take out the two pieces here for the body. Then the stand in the middle. as well as two of the shorter pieces. Oh, what happened over there? Okay, let me see if... ...is on... Okay. Okay, there you go. One. And two. So this is going to fix this part of it, the bottom part, the in between part, this piece here. We're going to build in between part. Oh, sorry, it's not this two. It's these two bigger ones here. So I'll take this away. So from here, we're going to take that first piece that has the two little holes here because they are for the fillers. I'll take out the fillers too then. Be careful, just try not to break them because yeah, some of them are quite flimsy. Okay, so I'm going to connect them. Auntie John, slow down, we are taking the, out the Love. Okay, I'll wait for you. Okay, so I'll take up. Okay, I wish I'll wait. Don't worry. I'll leave it here, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Most welcome. And I'm just preparing for the next one as well. You see if everyone's ready. Okay, so you can connect it to the body. So connect these two here, and these two are for the dealers. Okay, I think I'd rather put it the side because my color should be on top. So I'm gonna swap it so my color is on top. Then dealers go in. There you go. It's like an insect right now. And in the middle, you push this through the middle. It'll make the stab set now. Yeah. Oh, should be on top. <laughs> we can like the insect with a dagger to its head from the top and um a Okay, Colin, will you mind to let me finish up? Okay, fine, fine, Thank you. fine. So I go through this. I put this facing up because I'm going to cover this up in a while. Okay. So let me show you again. So this piece, I put it facing up. The antennas here going up. And then these two body pieces 
also facing up. Then this one is movable, mobile. We just put it in the middle. And we're going to cover it up. Oh, actually, we don't cover it up first because then we have to take it out again. So we just leave it this way first, okay? We leave it this way and then we do the next one before we close it up. Stay, uh, show it closer, Auntie John. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I'm going to show you there. So you see this one here? Okay. Yeah. You can see that, right? Yeah. That two pieces is on top of it. Mm. Yeah, just like this. And then from the bottom, I'm going to push the stick in. So see that? You, okay. To the bottom. And then we're going to leave it aside. Okay, this I is don't want to step. break anything. Yes, so be gentle with it. Which way? Which way, Auntie Joan? Is it okay. the same way? Both of them. Pushing it up. Yes, they all must face the same direction. And then you put it aside. Okay. Mm. Thank so you. Now we are doing the, um, welcome. Now we do the butterfly wings. So with the small little connectors you see over here, right? Okay, there you go. They are very small. The four of them, you slide it into your butterfly. Two on each side. And then if you go to this piece here, you'll see two stoppers here. It's look, they look like stoppers. So I take these two out. And then this one will slide in on top. Auntie John, is it bottom or on top? On top. So if I feel that I want this to be at top, then I put it this way. If I want this to be my top, my butterfly, and then I'll put it down this way. So it's... So is, it up or, is, this. is it up or down? Is it up or down? You push it. Yeah, you push it down. From the top here, see? It's like a mushroom head, right? So you push okay. it down. So in a way, oh. it will be like this. Sorry, Auntie John, I eat one of the pieces. <laughs> Is it delicious? It's a bit delicious. Yeah, so it will look like this. And these two sides. I can see, you know, some of you are still working on it, so I'm going to wait. We are on step one I'm and done. two. Only. I just need to connect the butterfly wings with the body. Mm, correct. Oh, step three, right? You're looking at step three. So step three, you will need this pack here. Use the cover of the spinner to hold my stuff. Um, if you're afraid that it might come off for this joist, you can actually stick them down with your glue. Yeah, if you don't, after fixing it, if you don't touch it, it will stay. But if you keep taking it in and out, it will actually not fall off. We know that because Colin was playing a bit and then it fell off. So I'm going to glue down the connection part. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it out, put glue in the middle of it, and then stick it down. Now wipe it off. Do 
Joyce is happily sending it down. Yeah, I'm putting upside down for it to dry for a while. While I prepare for the things I need next. These two here. Four stoppers. Auntie John, wait for us. I'm trying to set up the four stoppers and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait. Don't worry. Oh, I like Joyce background. Minecraft. <laughs> Auntie John, I'm done. Is everybody done too? Ready for them for, to, to connect them together? Okay, so from here we bring this back here. We slide in the wings in between it. Should be that side for my butterfly. So I put it in between. And then I use the axle rod to put them together like satay. One front, one back. That's the hole. There you go. So you put in this way. Okay, take it out and show one more time because at the same time, I would like to stick, take, uh, stick down the body piece as well. I think, John, is it two by two? What do you mean by two by two? Like that, two stoppers by two sides. Yeah, um, one stopper in front. Yes, one in front, one in the back. All right. I thought yeah. two of them, or I thought eight of them all secure the stuff. <laughs> We will need the rest of the stoppers for something for the for the the other part of the wings later. Yeah, side two.
Here you go. Auntie John, my is this my wings is same? Yes, I think it's the same. The mushroom head is the mushroom stalker is facing down, right? Yeah, but one of the mushroom heads, no, not the mushroom head. One of the stoppers has fallen out. Yeah, just take another one. Yeah, you will have extra stoppers oh. because we only need Look, four. This more. One. What is she? There to hold the thing. Oh, oh, the small one. Okay, okay, slowly, fine. If it's just a stop, the orange stopper, he will have extras from the other projects. No, the brown small stopper. Oh, okay. Hang on. Yeah, don't worry. Your mom will find it because it's at home. It'll be somewhere. Can't go anywhere too far. Now I'm going to close the top up. For that, I'm going to glue it down too. Is it correct, Auntie Tong? You see closely. Uh, your both your stoppers at the same position. Like if it's in a, behind the blocks, it must be behind as well. But it's like one is like in oh, front. Like, one if one is one. in front, one's at the back. Then you gotta adjust them until they are both. Don't the front of the wings is in front. The back of the wings is also in front of the other piece. So she she wants you to yeah. Put them in front. Yeah. Yeah. If not, then your wings will be a bit off. Hang on. Wait. Hang on. Just do one wing at a time. Again, I put the stopper. Put the orange stopper. There. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this one you have to change this this piece no? in front also. Yeah, so now you have you no know, the wings here, but it's flapping downwards. In front. And then I you have this band here. Come give me the one. <laughs> Auntie John, can yes? you wait for us? She's like yes. you're, you're okay. like so bold. <laughs> Don't worry, you let me know and then I will let you know. Okay, the top of it actually is very loose, right? So what you do is you take a screw, a small screw, and then you screw it down to secure it. What kind of screw? Uh, the flathead screw? Um, the smaller ones, you see the flathead will, will work. Find the, the find, you can measure. Actually, you just measure down. Okay, let me take a look at the different size. Okay, it's actually the longer one for the one on top. The top piece needs the slightly longer one because the hole is deeper. Is it this one? Yeah. Uh, not, not the one with the screw, right? Not the, not the nail, nail looking ones. Yeah. Okay. It uh, has a flat head, and it's long. Okay, that's good. That will be the one. You tighten it all the way in. What do we do? Uh, screw it in. Screw it in where? The top. Okay. Here. My screw is slanted, so I'm trying to take it out and then adjust again. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's the second time and my screw is still slanted. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So you have the middle screw here to secure that part. The next one we need is this two and the nail like ones. What happens is when we pull on to this butterfly, is actually the wings are always down. We're going to add it, make it like a little puppet. You know, when puppets, you put a stick underneath it to make it move, the hands and stuff. You should sometimes use sticks like for the traditional ones in Indonesia and stuff, but the, other, the others, you actually use strings, right, to hang. So we are going to do the ones for the wings down here. So we need the stopper, put it through the top, going downwards towards the tail. And then you add a stopper. What do we need? Okay, let me show you. So you need two of these, the one that looks like nails. You need four of these. And you need two of these. Got it? Auntie John, after we did this, but we are yes. to do next. And you did you put in the middle piece? Ready? And, if, and then you secure it with the long, long screw inside. How, how about the stick? The stick. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Um, Auntie Jo, yes. Um, yes. I think, okay, uh, I think I put my wings backwards. No, like uh -huh. upside down. So I, actually, I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay. Let go, let go. And flip it the other way around. No, you have to, you have to put it. Uh -huh. Okay, Constantine, you can see. Constantine. So you put the stick I'm, in. I'm trying to do on the top, top like that. Okay. Listen for a while. So you push it in. You push it to the top, right? The top piece there. Correct. And then use a long screw to secure it in. I think it's upside down because the for the this round thing should be at the head. The round, yeah, the round thing on top as a head have no antennas, yeah? Yeah. They have no antennas in it. Okay. So after you put it down, show it to her. Okay. Screw it down. And Joyce, you can try number three. So number three here, you take the one that looks like the nails and then put it in facing down towards the tail. There you go. And then you put a stopper. In this way. Mm 
Next, you take the long stick and slide it in as well. Yep. And then you add a stopper again. Don't worry, I'm going to repeat one more time for the other side. So if I bring it closer to you, you can see the nail like piece goes downwards. You have a stopper underneath the wooden piece, the mushroom piece, a long stick, followed by another stopper. So it's the same for the other side. Constantine, are you all right? I'm trying to put, I put one side already, so I'm trying to put other side. You're gonna put yeah, you're gonna push it to the middle, right? Move left uh, up and down, shake it a little bit, and to get it into the top. Here. So second side is the same. Push the nail piece in. Put a stopper in. See? And so I put the nail in and then I a stopper in. Yes. It doesn't want to push in because um, the wings spread too wide, so we can't uh -huh. push push this this thing in. The wings spread too you wide. See, yeah, you see this part, right? Yeah. You see this part? It's not sitting into. It not pushing in. Yeah, it, it can't it, it can't reach the hole. It's very far away from the hole. For oh, the okay. front and back piece, yeah, the body yeah, piece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the body piece. They are not the so, same size? Uh, yeah. Oh, I know why. It's a stopper. The, the body stopper part, I think because he pushed it too far out to push it in so that it becomes the same size. Uh, if we push it in, it might break the top piece. Now this one, this one. is this one. Take a look at here. This axle piece here. Uh -huh. If you push it, I put it too far apart, it will actually open it up. You push inwards, then it gets closer. So, but you mentioned to put them both inside the same same way. Not in, not inside. One is in front. One the other one is inside. Ah, okay. One inside, one outside. Yes, they must oh, be in front of the piece. Okay, can. Thank yeah, you. And now you figure it out. Good. Because if you put it inside just now, then it will push it out. So we know that. Now, if you measure it. The, the, the width and the length is the same. So that means that it needs to go one forward and the other one in front on the other side. So those who are done with this, you can see you have two pieces here two sticks underneath here that will control the wings to flap. Where do I put the sticks? Underneath the wing here. You know the mushroom stopper piece there? Okay, where's the stick? You push it Is from it the good? top there, you put it in. Okay, hey, hey, hey. like this. You gotta be kidding me. Yes. Okay, it's like this only. Might... Right, if you push it, the mushroom stopper piece in, you will see a hole underneath it. That's where you put in the nail looking like piece. You can see this allows it to move. It's mobile because of the axle piece. And it stays there because of the stopper.
how are you doing, Constantine? Managed to fix that part of your brain. <laughs> Okay, are you done with that other parts, Joyce? You managed to? Ah, good. Constantine, how are you doing now? Almost good. Okay, almost done. Yeah, so for this butterfly piece, it's finished. <laughs> we are going to go on to the, to the box. You always say, like, that's so me. Okay, I'm putting it aside. We're going to go to the boxes. So do we have to put the, uh, the uh, screws? Where do we put the screws for the body? For the body, the one long screw goes to the middle. Okay. Yeah. You can see a little hole underneath there is for it to, uh, to lock it in. And put this aside. Then we can take out the pieces for the box. I'm taking out all the rest of the pieces that's inside. Okay. Removing all the rest. Auntie Tom, where is this thing supposed to be the gear looking stuff? Uh, we are coming to it. We finished the butterfly already, right? No. So it's gonna fly. No, not okay. yet. Yeah, all those okay, those are for later. So finish the when we finish the butterfly, then we move away. We, I'm removing all the other pieces so they're easier to find. And the next one, which is we are doing step number five, we will need this piece here. Auntie John, after the screwing the thing the down, the body down first, then what next to then do? Then you do the, the puppet, puppet wings. Puppet wings. The you put in the, the nail looking piece. Nail looking piece. Put a stopper. And then the long stick. And another stopper. It should be in piece for the mushroom. We, it's wrong already because the nail looking piece, this, this stick has to be upwards. Okay, the stick has to be upwards. You gotta face downwards so only, towards the towards the tail. Yeah, the okay, uh, yeah. Okay, oh just that God. piece, right? Yeah, uh, just both sides. Uh that's all right. Yeah, both sides fix the puppet. Part of it, and then we are done for Ooh, them. Okay, wrong. Yes, Welcome. I understand. So over here we have this piece. We need this piece. We need this piece with the three holes. Okay, I put on top so you can see. Then we need the nail-like piece here too. Then we'll need these two pieces. This round piece and two short screws. That's for number Auntie John, do we need flat head or this head? For which one? For the box part for number five? Yeah. Yeah. 
The two small ones, floor, uh, small flat ones will do. You mean flat screws? Like that? that the flat head will do. All right, two flat heads. Yes. So what we're going to do is, you see this piece here? Auntie John. Don't mind, can I see yes. the See that this, this one, this wheel here with the three Your holes in the wheel. middle? What do you say, Constantine? Your wing. Yeah, my. What about our wings? Okay, from Can here. Can I see we... your wings again, Auntie John? Okay, there we go. That's the bottom okay, of the wing. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. So you see this three circle wing are up for the wheel on the wheel. So you put one of the. Nail like through the middle. Yeah. Okay, there. So I push it through. Okay, so what we're building now is actually this piece here. See this here? We are building this part, these two parts outside. So I put it through, and for the orange one, same. We push the nail like ones through the middle as well. Table is easier. Yeah, so it looks like it's been a, like a little <laughs> top right now. Got it? So you put in one hole and the other hole. Like this. Next, we stack these two, these three pieces together. Make sure the holes matches up with each other. Okay, wait a minute. Mm. Okay, I think they gave us a, the long ones, they gave us one short. So can you all go to your butterfly and remove the long one instead? Because they gave us one, one less long one. So take out the long one, just replace the short one. Yeah, we have what one. long one. Take uh, out the, short the, one. Screw, the screw on top of the butterfly is a long one we use. We, have, we need one extra for the, our next step. So we are going to replace it with just a short one. So we will have two long ones. Install re um, just now we talk about the two short ones, remove them and replace the long ones because I just measured it and then we need the longer one here. See, I was just measuring that part of it. So once you get that- what do we need to do? I have um, to do this in. Like this yeah, one. just remove this long screw here and change it to the small one, the short one. So you will have two long screws here. Because the next step, if you're using the short one, it will not reach the bottom unless you only use one piece of this. So you align all these three together. Make sure all the, the two holes matches. You can see them. And next you screw them in together. So what I'm doing is I I'm screwing it. Yes. 
excuse me, I did wrong. How do yes. you do that? How did you layer them? How, How do you layer them? Did I layer the two pieces here, the board here? You see these two pieces, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, I layer them one? together to the, yep, the biggest circle piece. Okay. And you don't really nail it down, you screw them in. Make sure that you can see lights through the holes. So there are three of them aligned together. Okay. And you screw it okay. in until the last piece here. Don't screw it through all the way. So just three quarter in. Because the last, the last little part is for the plastic part later on. My neck, neck. So see, once I can see the little tip of the screw, I screw it into the two holes on this side. So there should be four pieces all together. Then look through the holes on the back of the plastic piece to make sure it's aligned before I screw it in. So you should have two boards, two flat letter boards, a round one and a plastic. That should be the first one here. Auntie Jo, what kind of plastic piece is the plastic piece like that? The one with three holes. Three holes. In a straight line that belongs to the board here. Yeah, yes. okay. Then we put it on top. This? We screw it on top of it. No, uh, can you flip the other way around and yeah. see? Yeah, here. Wait, what? Yes, that piece. What do I do with it? So just now on the first part, remember you actually put it through the middle hole already, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this piece just goes on top of it. Okay. Yeah, so the middle hole underneath the, the, the piece is actually for the nail itself. The nail piece. So the nail piece is actually a nail like piece actually hidden underneath the, the circle the circle board and over there. It doesn't matter whether you put it on the left or right for these two pieces. It's whichever hand you feel is more comfortable spinning. Then next, we get ready the other two white wheels. Okay, I'm going to put on top of here so you can see better. And then the circles as well.
So we have two sets of this. Okay. Yeah. Lastly, two nail-like nail looking pieces too. Got it? We have, okay, these pieces here, stack the two wooden pieces together, one with a bigger hole, one with a smaller hole. Put a bigger hole one on top of the one with a smaller hole. And then put it onto this piece and align it to one of the side holes. Once you do that, you put the nail looking like piece through the hole, so it goes through to the other side. So it looked like this. The small hole or the big hole? The big hole is on top, small hole and in the middle. What happened when you put through this piece is it flushes it down and lock it down this way. See, it becomes flattened, like it's hiding in the piece. Thank you. Welcome. So we do the same on the other one for the other one. Got it? So, remember the board we have? And Auntie John, is this like that or up or down? Is the long side goes through the white color wheel. Okay, I press it there. Yeah. See, so you put the rings into the part where it's as little Part coming up, the leg will stop coming up. Look where? Yes, and then into the wheel. Okay. The flat okay. side should be the out on the outside. So Once you do that, you turn it over. For this two piece, remember your two little pieces that you did on step five. That spins. You're gonna hold on to it while we flip it over and then attach it down this way. You see the, the long ones here, right? The end of it, push it to the middle of the gear and connect them together. Put it on the table if you need because- you It's still good. That one. Yeah, it fell off, so I need to. I can do it. It's okay, Colin. Hey, what's the cookie there for? Uh, for me to eat, which I didn't eat. Yeah. Can so I have I'm, it? I'm trying. You can eat whatever you want. It's, you know where to find me. I'm going to push it in. Okay, I need something to hold it up while I push it in. So, A little challenging, so I'm, I remove one of the wheel. Push it down. There, locked it in. There you go. Now it's attached. The other one. Now I'm do the bigger one now. Now if you do the smaller one, then the bigger one is easier because if you put on the bigger one, then it's and the, the a small one, you can't reach it on the table. I'm going to press it in again. There you go. 
Okay. When you push in the last part, make sure they are facing the correct direction, okay? So they should be facing each other. They should be mirroring each other. So when you move, they move both away and move together again. They must move together. So now I'm going to bring back my boxer stuff as well. So from here, this is the outside. I'm going to spin with my right hand for me um, because I prefer it that way. So I'm going to flip it down this way. So now my right spinning part is on my left hand when it's underneath. You can do it any way you like because it's going to be the same. So what I'm going to do is, you see this piece here with a line here, the slot here. We are going to put the butterfly sticks over there. The middle hole is for the middle stick and the side, the two smaller puppet hands thingy goes to the slots, the long slots. I'm going to do it this way because the box is going to face outwards. There you go. So it's like this. Okay. So the long slot should go close to the tail area. Like that. So you put it down, you saw it in this way. And you can put it on the table so the table will help you hold on to it. All right. So this is my tail of my butterfly. That's my head. Everybody got that one? Now remember, we just finished this piece. This is going to still fix in over there, the bottom of it. So it's going to fit in this way. And you are going to put the stick into that nail-like piece that looks like XO. Auntie Jo? Yes. Um, yes. Yes. I I don't know where we are now. Okay, you see this part of it here? So you are done with this piece here, right? No. We're You're not done? Yeah. Where are you? You finished this part already? No. Not at all? Uh, why don't you take a break and then you continue later on? After you finish everything, then you come back to it again, okay? It's fine, all right? Okay, so for those who are continuing, you slot it in. And then we're going to fix in the side and, and then secure it with the stopper. You have two more stoppers, so one on each side.
And once it's secure with stopper, I slide it in to the cover. No, should I plug it in? No, plug it in. It's not starting. Oh, it's sesame day. It's sesame. Then you all know how to fix a box, right? So we fix on the side. Once you have the three wall or uh, four walls of the box, it's more or less more secure. And if you pull the middle piece, you can see it flapping. Closing the bottom piece. So it looks like this. I'm going to take a picture and send it to the group. So you can see, <laughs> Mary Jade finished doing the Tang Yuan already. Oh my. They are allowed to do it at their own time. So it's I see. Oh, so it's Yes. Bye. 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 And when you finish that, you secure it with your screwdriver, your screws, okay? The short screws. You see little holes on the sides. You can just screw it in to tighten it. If you don't want to, it's fine too. Just be mindful when you're playing. So if you're done, then it just turn. And it'll flap. You fix up the entire box first, okay. then you screw in the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Because this top piece you can move anywhere you want. Okay. 